Hey guys, what's up? Sniper here coming at you with another video. The last commentary before I get flown away and shredded to bits by Hurricane Ar Irene. Eileen, I don't know what the fuck her bitch's name is, but I don't give a fuck because I'm gonna die tonight. No, I'm just kidding. That would really suck. But, um, got a campfire start for you guys. This one is actually something that happened not too long ago. But last year, senior year, it was me. And it was, you know, going around, going around like. I, know, I think it was like the end of the year, middle of the year. But uh, for my high school, we did prom in 11th grade. So, you know, I was talking to my friend, and she's like, hey, you want to go to prom with me? And I was sitting there talking, thinking to myself, like, yeah, should I go? And c c I decided to go because um, when I was in 11th grade, my girlfriend at the time didn't want to go, and I didn't want to go either because we thought it would be a waste of time. So I was like, alright, I'll definitely go to this. So we go. Fucking prom was boring as fuck. Uh, it was pretty much like every other kind of thing. Um, there was this, there was, you know, every, anything you'd expect, which is odd and not really exciting because my high school's paranoid as hell and you were checking everybody for alcohol, drugs, and all that kind of stuff. We couldn't really do a lot of stuff. And so we were waiting because we had to go to the, because we all, we, all we wanted to do was just go to the after party. That's all we wanted to do. So, as soon as we leave, we go to my friend's house. And, I'm just, and I call my parents like, hey, I'm gonna stay over at my friend's house and go over get McDonald's. And you know, just stay here at the over, uh, overnight because this is what they do for prom. And little did they know, it was just gonna be a fat party. So we met up at this girl's house. Um, we were all there. Her parents were gone for the weekend. And we, uh, people came with like kegs, lots of booze, and you know, just a bunch of hard liquor. So the party was going on, we were, everything was going great, you know, we are all just hanging out, playing some beer pong, and I was, you know, I felt, I was feeling a little sick, so I, I snuck up to the bathroom and just puked my brains out, I was like, oh man, I need another beer, so I went back down to the kitchen, and I see the box of Coors Light, I don't know what it was, but I, I walk up to it, just casually go to it, and I grab a beer. As soon as I lift it up, lift up the can, I look to my left, and there was a grown-up. I was like, oh, fuck. I dropped the can, went and just told people, I went upstairs and grabbed my backpack, and just walked out. Everybody was peacing. They, everyone just bounced. <laughs> and the girl's aunt. I was just like standing and talking to the girl who wasn't doing anything. So she didn't get in trouble actually, which was great. But everyone else, some people were pissed drunk. And I needed a way to get home or go crash at someone else's place. So I get in the car with my friend who was drunk and I was a little scared because I didn't. So I was in a um, car with a drunk driver. We made it to his house. More people, we were just. It was, I don't know. It was just me and my friend. I was, I was scared off my ass. And because he lived like an hour away, so I was like, oh, fuck. I was like 30 minutes. So I go with him. That was one of the scariest experiences ever because I told myself I'd never go with a drunk driver. And we made, we made it to his house in peace, super safe. And I slept on his couch. Next thing in the morning, um, everything was just peachy. We went to McDonald's to get some food. And it was, I don't know, I guess that was pretty much it. We, everything ended well. The girl didn't get in trouble, none of her moms find out, parents. And it was a scary, it was a pretty scary experience, not gonna lie, because I never, I'm, you know, never, I thought it was gonna be great. But everything turned out fine. Went home in peace, no one knew a thing. And other parents found out, but they didn't really give a crap. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I couldn't really think of any other stories for this week's st uh, episode, but I gotta think harder, and I think I got another one for you guys next week. Or I think I might do a map break. I don't know. What do you guys want? Stories? Or a tactical-based sniping domination schniz that I always do? Alright, so yeah. Um, if you guys want, follow me on Twitter. www.twitter.com slash sniper0xi. Just like my gamer tag. And 
Oh yeah, keep an eye out for my montage. It's gonna be being edited. Whoop whoop. And yeah, peace out, guys. Later.